Hey folks, this is Jake Davis with another fly review for you. And today I am talking about uh, Corner Office, which was released earlier this year. Some small indie movie. And one of those films that is like, you know, anybody who donated a, a parking spot or, or paid for lunch, so you get a producer credit. This movie stars John Hamm, Sarah Gadon, and Danny Pudi. Uh, the whole premise of, I guess, based on a book called The Room, but you can't call that that. Uh, about an incredibly delusional, uh, mentally ill man who gets a brand new job at this corporation who's got this big project going on, and he becomes more and more obsessed with uh, an empty, I mean, actually furnished, elaborate, beautiful side office that's unoccupied. He, he gets obsessed with it. It's, I mean, it's not really there. He insists it's there, and when he's in there, he's, he does his best work, his best thinking, and it becomes him more and more obsessed with the room and. It's, it, things coming escalate from that. His co-workers are scared. He is completely delusional and um, uh, entitled and aggressive and corporate taking advantage of his good work. All this kind of shit. Now, this movie is terrible. I'm going to give it two stars. Uh, because I thought that the acting all around, especially John Hamm, was fine. A lot of the dialogue was very smooth. I really enjoyed the throwback vibe theme. Very much a callback to like... Bernard Herman. Uh, <clears throat> I like the bleak gray production design of it. Like the office building almost looks like a mausoleum. Uh, lots of grays and, and, and dim blues. It was a very good looking sounding movie. But what I hated it was that. I mean, the movie's over in like 38 minutes. And then they drag it out for a hundred. It's it doesn't say anything. It doesn't do anything. It looks like it's trying to be maybe an allegory for uh, certain issues, but it doesn't really say anything other than it's just trying to be weird. Uh, it is ultimately, like I said, looks good, good acting, but it doesn't do anything. Nothing happens in this movie. And any intrigue it's able to build it through its premise is already burned out long before you even get halfway through the second act. <clears throat> Best way to sum up a film like this is it's all seasoning and no meat. Two stars. I'm Jake Davis, and I'll catch you on the fly.